into the future what do you see i really need to know now is there a place for me if we're gonna survive the dream must stay throughout the evacuation process. Come to Nettie. Well, I'm sure you two got a lot of catching up to do. Bray. I, uh, just wanted to congratulate you. The way you played him at his own game like that, dressing up as Zoot, was a master stroke. Thanks. I know you despise me, you have every right, but I want to help you if I can. Might be my last chance at doing something worthwhile. You want to help me? To lead this city takes more than just fair-mindedness, Bray. Sometimes, you have to be ruthless. He understood that. It wasn't always cruelty for the sake of it. I want you to know that. What's your point, blue boy? You can't afford to show me any compassion. You'll only win the contempt of the other tribes. Don't worry. You'll be tried. And found guilty and executed. If you're really serious about building a new world, then justice must be seen to be done. Look, I want to know who is responsible. How can we argue against that lynch mob out there if we're doing this sort of thing to our own people? What's going on? Someone took revenge on May for crimes against the Marats. Was she okay? She's a bit shook up. She'll be fine. I don't know why everybody assumes I did it. Could have been any one of us. When you ask her. I've got better ways of getting my own back. I mean, tar and feathers. Tar and what? It was molasses, not tar. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm telling you, she deserves a lot worse than that. Like what, Lex? Uh, you want some too? Hey, 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 stop it, both of you. Meeting over. We've got to do something. When pride starts losing it, you know things are getting bad. I think I know what to do with Luke. We're going to try him, aren't we? Amber, a man can't be tried by his own victims. And the city is full of them. We need a magistrate. One person to hear the evidence, give the verdict, and do the sentencing. Did you have anyone in mind? Oh, no. Not me. Amber, you're the best person for the job. Bray, I don't want to be responsible for everyone all the time. Amber, there's nobody else. No. I'm sorry, but the answer is no. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little better, thanks. You know, it's really great of you to look after Brady like this. Actually, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> Celine, it's gonna be okay. My problem is, I think too much about Ryan and the baby. But worrying about them is not going to bring either one of them back. So i uh, just got to carry on. You're right. It's all going to be fine. Zoot willing. Hey, it's OK. What's the matter, babe? You look a little down. Uh, it's just this thing with May. I'll be all right. She's a nice kid. Uh, she didn't deserve that. Have you got something for me, Ned? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Thought you might have uh, fancy a nightcap. <laughs> what? 
uh, it's nothing. It's just for one crazy moment, I thought you may have been bringing me flowers. So, uh, do you want a drink? Oh, no. I'm just going to get an early night. Yeah, me too. It was a great night, though. You have to admit. <sighs> to be completely honest, I was so drunk, I can barely remember a thing. Want me to, uh, refresh your memory? Good night, Ned. Yeah. Good night. I was angry. Don't you even get angry, Ty said? Come on, babe, don't be like this. I've missed you so much. You know how much I care about you. Don't touch me. She had it coming to her. Everyone agrees. Not everyone. Well, most people. So, what? Is this how it's gonna be? I get the cold shoulder just for having a bit of fun? Fun? Fun! Yeah, that's right. Letting some steam off. Showing some emotion. Oh, I, I forgot. That's not allowed. Well, you know what? It felt good. In fact, it, it felt great. You should try having some feelings sometime. Get out. Oh, don't worry. I'm not staying here. This isn't what I came back for. Risked my neck for. All I wanted was revenge. And when I've had my fill, I'll be on my way. Allie! It's okay. He's asleep. So what happens now? Does it matter? How can you say that? Ali, someone has to answer for the Chosen's crimes. What crimes? I don't care. None of it matters. That's not true, and you know it. Do you feel that same way about him? Do you want him to go free? Why are you doing this to me? I thought you loved me. I do, but... No, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't let this happen. We could have... We could have what? Ali, you don't want to come with me. Is this the only alternative? Sacrificing yourself? For justice. Justice? Look around you, Luke. There is no justice and there never will be. Ali! Come back, Ali! Power. Chaos. Pretty spooky, huh? What is? Shopping mall at night? It's like another world. Do you ever think about what it was like before? People fighting over bargains, tills ringing, credit cards flapping. Remember credit cards? That'll do nicely, madam. Yes. Thank you very much. Have a nice day now. Do you want to shut up? No. I'm just curious. Why did you guys park up in a place like this? I couldn't live here. It'd drive me crazy. All right. You much prefer the open road. Guess you have to meet new people in your line of business mm. before you round them up and sell them. Oh, you mean the slave business. True enough. What's up, Lex? You seem tense. With my betting, you've got girl trouble. I don't need to hear this. I'll tell you how I know. Because I've been uh, given the flick too. But I've got the perfect remedy. I'll share it with you if you'd like. By the way, Andy told me all about it. The business with May and the molasses. <laughs> nice job. Sweet. Hey, Goldilocks, three bears are eating your porridge. Hey! Mm -hmm. Can't you see I'm sleeping? It's a bit hard to miss under the circumstances. Hey, where did all this food come from? We raided the cupboards. This is what the Chosen were eating while they fed us on slop. Oh, 
look at all this stuff. I must have died and gone to heaven. Has anyone taken the prisoners anything? I'll go feed them something. Yeah, we could put something in it, make them sick. Like rat poison. Or just rats. Or maybe even spiders all mushed up. Hey, uh, one of these slave traders gonna hit the road. What about you, Pride? You don't belong here any more than they do. Have you seen Brian Amber? What's up? We've got trouble. Bring them out! Bring them out! Bring them out! Bring them out! You made a promise. You said that justice would be done. It is being done, but you can't try a man who doesn't know his own mind. And where does it say that, Bray, in one of your law books? Didn't anybody tell you? It's a new world now. We can do what we like. Yeah! yeah! All right. It is a new world. And the decisions we make today will set an example for years to come. Think about it, Moz. If you let the mob decide what's right and wrong, what's going to happen when they come for you? There isn't going to be anyone to stick up for you then. I'll take my chances. This is the Guardian we're talking about. He isn't the Guardian anymore. He's a nobody, a nothing. He's in there, sitting in the corner, mumbling to himself. The guy is nuts. You hear that? The Guardian is nothing, like I've been saying all along. Bring him out. Bring him out! Bring him out! Pretty ungrateful, isn't he? What do you want, Lex? Cure for a hangover would be nice. Thought you were leaving? No one would blame me if I did. Not when my wife pays more attention to a scumbag than me. Guess I've been doing it wrong with this time, eh, Tyson? I mean, look at this guy. He commits every crime in the book, and he gets breakfast in bed. And me? What do I get? Such. Can we talk about this later? You leaving? What about this other low life? And you feeding them too? When you stare at you'll get yours. Bring them out! Maybe we should fall back. Don't run. Don't let them think we're scared. What is your problem? Listen to me! Forget it, Ebony. We're gonna take the Guardian with you guys, like it or not. The Guardian? What do you want him for? He's small potatoes. What do you mean? Look, just because somebody calls themselves a leader, it doesn't mean a thing. You're going for the wrong guy. What is this, some kind of trick? Get real, Moss. How far do you think that creep in the robes would've got without his deputies? Oh, sure, he came up with the idea, but it was Luke who gave the orders. He's the one going on trial. What, didn't anybody tell you? Is this true? Every word. And I'll tell you something else for free. He's gonna pay for what he did. And shall I tell you how I know? Because I'm counsel for the prosecution. Does anyone have any questions? I've got a couple. I said wait! I said wait, damn it! Why? Am I next to a punishment? Is that it? Look, I'm sorry. Last night I said some things I shouldn't have. But I don't want to leave you, you know that. No matter what happens, we're still husband and wife, aren't we? Nothing's happened. All I did was care for someone who was hurting. You sure about that? What do you mean? Well, that time you two were together, you didn't fall for him just a little bit? Lex, how can you say that? He's just a helpless child. I, I, he might have had some sort of breakdown, but he's still a monster as far as I'm concerned. Right now, I'm not at all sure who the monster is. And as for being husband and wife, well, I'll think about it. Look, Ebony, if you wanted to be prosecutor, you should have said something. We need some kind of system here, don't you think? I don't. Yeah, well, there's the problem. I mean, I don't want to be prosecutor. But I will if you can't find anyone else. Then why? Seemed to me like the two of you were losing it out there. Well, do you want the job or not? Who cares? We know he's guilty. Luke's going down. Hey, you know what I was saying about being magistrate? You wouldn't care to reconsider, would you? Oh, boy. A 
May, are you okay? Um, I know how you must be feeling. Sure you do. That this sort of thing happens to you all the time. Well, what can I say? I blame myself. Oh? I should have been there for you. I mean, after all you did helping rescue Brady, you put your life at risk. Well, don't tell me. Tell them. If you can drag them away from the Guardian long enough to get their attention. Poor guy. He's had such a rough time. Did you hear? Apparently he had a bad childhood. His mommy smacked him once. Well, I, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Never better. Good. Sorry, Nick. You heard me. If I offended you, let's have it out, like two civilized human beings. Ned, I have no idea what you're talking about. Bray, how many of this lot do you want to let in? We don't want to ride. We've got room for maybe 20. 20? Are you sure? You're right. Make it 15. You think, because I'm a little rough around the edges, that I don't have any feelings. But that's not true. I have feelings, just like anybody else. And you've hurt them. Ned, what are you talking about? I'm talking about last night. What about it? I thought we had something going, you and me. I come pay you a friendly visit, and you show me the door, just like that. Good night, Ned. And what did you expect? Uh, what kind of girl do you think I am? Look, just because we had a little thing together doesn't mean that you have any special rights or privileges. I'm certainly not going to come running every time you snap your fingers. Got it? Alice, you can let them in now. Okay, we've got room for 50. Oh, right, Casey. Oh. Little thing? What do you mean, little thing? You gave the order for the tribe leaders to be rounded up. Is that right? Yes. Where were they sent? Uh, various work programs, small factories we were setting up, and some were put to work in the mines. Some, but not all? But what happened to the others? The ones you made disappear? I don't know. Oh, you're lying! They were wasted! Admit it! Yeah. Yeah. Let him answer. Some were, I think. You think? <laughs> but you were in charge. You gave out the artists. I, we had people taking care of that stuff. Look, the truth is, I don't want to know. Oh. But you did know. You knew what was going on, and you did nothing to prevent it. I knew. Well, I don't think we should drag this out. I've heard enough. Luke, do you have anything to say in your defense? All I ask is that each of you try and find it in your hearts to forgive me. As for the allegations made against me, well, it would be an insult to the memory of those who died to refute them. I'm guilty. I asked the court to pass sentence on me. Quiet. This is a court of law, and I will have order. We will break for 10 minutes while I consider the verdict. You can't do that. The trial isn't over yet. Sit down. He's guilty. He admitted it. Quiet! You can't have a prosecution and no defense. That's the way the defendant wanted it. Look, I know he's done wrong, but he's tried to make amends. He really has. 
he helped get Trudy out, and, and when the Guardian was going to blow up the mall, he tried to stop him. And he could have escaped, but he didn't. And that proves how sorry he is, doesn't it? <laughs> Tell them. It's no good, Allie. Come on, sis. Remind me never to speak to you again. So uh, what are you going to do? Well, I don't have much choice, do I? The only thing in doubt is how to punish him. Well, we know what they want. Yeah, well, they're not going to get it. Look, I think I know what Luke deserves, but it won't be popular. Life imprisonment? Sort of. We're going to execute him, aren't we? I'm not sure. At least you spoke up for him. It was a pretty brave thing to do. Yeah, and a lot of good it did me. Why'd I have to fall for him, of all people? Because you're stupid. <laughs> Sweetie, it runs in the family. The verdict is... Guilty. In deciding this man's fate, we are shaping our own destinies. There is no doubt in anyone's mind, least of all the defendants, that he is guilty. The prosecution put forward her case eloquently, and I, for one, believed her. But I also believe Luke when he says he feels remorse about what he did, and I am taking this into account when I pronounce judgment on him. Luke will suffer life imprisonment, but not in a cell. Not in a prison with bars. I know. What about down a mine shaft? <laughs> Luke will go free to live with the knowledge of what he's done for the rest of his life. What? Go free? What do you mean, go free? His punishment is to live with his crimes and his conscience. Now take him away. Oh, no, you don't. She can't do that, and you know it. It's done. This is a court of law, and you've agreed to abide by its rules. Now back off. I hope you know what you're doing. You haven't heard the last of this. And you. You're going to regret what you did here today. We have to put him back in the cage. Well, the cage? But why? It's for his own protection, Ellie. That lock could be back at any minute. She's right, Ellie. I want to go back. But Luke, didn't you hear? You're free. Everything's going to be okay now. It's not. Bye. What's happening? Jack. Did you miss me?